Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for August 28, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 37, The Valley of Dry Bones, part two. Previously, we heard about the beginning part of chapter 37, where God speaks to Ezekiel and tells him to prophesy to a valley of dry bones that they may live and come together and have flesh on them. But they weren't alive. There was a second prophecy needed for the breath. We get a beautiful teaching here that this is very important, that God views life and death a little bit different than we do. God's version of life is believing and trusting in Jesus Christ. If you don't believe and trust in Jesus Christ, you may be walking around and watching this devotion, but you're not really alive from God's point of view. So let's continue with Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 11. Then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are indeed cut off. Apparently, this was the saying of the people of Israel while they were in exile. They did not see any hope at all. Verse 12. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. Okay, is God talking about eternal life for all who believe and trust in Jesus Christ? Well, the answer is for those who do believe and trust in Jesus Christ, they will rise from the grave and have the gift of eternal life that is being brought into the promised land. This passage should give hope to all who do believe and trust in God Almighty. Verse 13, And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people. And I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. Remember, God's definition of life is different than ours. So God is looking for faith and trust in Jesus Christ and the resurrection of the dead that Jesus is a living testimony to. Verse 15, the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, take a stick and write on it. For Judah and the people of Israel associated with him, then take another stick and write on it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and all the house of Israel associated with him. Verse 17, and join them one to another into one stick, that they may become one in your hand. And when your people say to you, will you not tell us what you mean by this, these? Verse 19, say to them, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am about to take the stick of Joseph that is in the, the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel associated with him and I will join with it the stick of Judah and make them one stick, that they may be one in my hand. This again is part of the teaching that God is trying to bring to the people of Israel. Remember, life by God's definition is faith and trust in Jesus Christ and being, which makes us members of the body of Christ in a special, special mystical union. This is important because the people of Israel were divided between the northern tribes and the southern tribes, i.e. the illustration of the two sticks. But Ezekiel is now told to prophesy that these two sticks are one in Ezekiel's hand. You see, we are all one in our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Again, our view of life, and by the way, death, is completely different than God's view of life. So join me again tomorrow as we continue with Ezekiel chapter 37. 
God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.